What is up, people? Van from the Van Risk Gaming Channel here with another video on Conan Exiles. Today's video is going to be the first part of my Conan Exiles adventure series. I've been really looking forward to doing this. I haven't had a chance to really play the game and enjoy myself. So in this series, I'm basically just going to play the game and try and beat the game, which basically means I want to go and collect all the stuff you need to take the bracer off and leave the exiled lands. I want to do some fun stuff like build a trophy room and go on some adventures and just have a good time. So in order to do that, I made my own private server. If you guys are interested in joining, you can click on the I in the top right hand corner. That'll take you to the video that kind of explains everything. If you don't want to do that, you can just click on the email address down in the description. Email me, tell me you're a subscriber and you want to join the server. And we can kind of go from there. So let's get started here. All right, so character creation. Let's make our character quick. So first things first, we're going to go Sumerian. I am a Sumerian. I like Samaria, and also the other reason why I want to go Samarian is because for the first time ever playing Conan Exiles in 1200 hours over the last however many years, I'm going to pick Krom as my starting religion because you can't destroy buildings on the server. That's why I made it. So I don't have to worry about my buildings getting destroyed, so I'm going to pick Krom. All right, voice. Death is coming. Death is coming. The gods are watching. 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 Yeah, yep, yeah, desperate. We're desperate. We're in we're in a dun uh, dungeon. We're in a desert. We're gonna go desperate. Nothing but the smell of desperation and bad choices. Alright, so face wise, I think I like this one. Yes? Yeah. Far left. Skin tone, you know, we're, we're, we're going to get a little bit of sun. We, we don't have any clothes on. So we're going to go a little bit, uh, yeah. We'll go a little bit tan. A little bit tan. Hair, I like the dreadlock. Yeah, this. Because I think, you know, if you're running around out there, you don't, you're not going to stay really clean shaven. So your hair is going to get all knotty. And yeah, that's my reasoning. This is all for a good reason, I swear. Eyebrows, we want the big bushy ones, you know, again, when are you going to have time to pluck? Like, seriously. There we, there we go. See? That's what I'm talking about. Facial hair, yeah, we're going to rock a beard. Um, so it's between this one or this one. No, I don't want any braids in my beard. That's kind of, you know, I don't know. Uh, this one. This is good. That's a perfect amount of beard. It's like not in my chest. Like it's good. I like it. Okay. We'll go there. And then eyeshadow. It's either no eyeshadow or it's the crazy like eye paint stuff. Which I mean, that's kind of cool looking, you know? All right. We're just going to run with that. All right. Face details. I'm not going to get into all this. This is all crazy. What we're going to do is we're going to pick an eye color though. Purple? No. Blue? Ladies, look at those. Uh, I always want to do this weird orange look. It just looks creepy. I just want to be the creepy guy with the... Uh, yeah. We're going to be the creepy guy with the eyeshadow and the orange eyes. Okay. Body features. So, I think we'll stay middle height. And physique... I don't want to be like so ripped you see every line in my body like 75% ripped I still want to look 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 like I'm ripped and then breast size you mean pec size that's just ridiculous looking you, you know high and tight come on now how about right there there we go and then endowment there is no endowment slider because we're not gonna run run around naked this channel is for families this is a family channel there's not gonna be any dongs hanging out okay so let's finalize. All right, let's see. What are our crimes? Spreading malicious rumors, drunken brawling, and singing body ballads. That's those are my crimes. Okay. The drunken brawling is the only like redeemable crime. The rest are absolutely terrible. So, whatever. I spread rumors, I beat people up. And I, I must hang out in a, in a tavern a lot. That's, I, must, I must just be in a tavern the whole time. So, all right, we're going to watch this. I've During never watched the this. Year swear of the God. Cobra, a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands. 
crucified and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly. I think putting me out on a cross is a little bit much for drinking and ball. You know, intervenes. I just I feel like this is a little bit excessive of a, of a punishment for my crimes. I sung some saucy ballads and punched a guy and spread some rumors and I'm on a cross in the middle of the desert. That doesn't seem anywhere near where the punishment fits the crime. Oh god. What is this? I hate birds. This is creepy. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Conan. Thank you, Conan. That's totally you, isn't it? There you are. Are you thirsty, dead man? Is that really a question? Shall I cut you down from What is with these tree? questions? It might kill you. Are you civilized thirsty? Men are soft. And should I cut you down? I'm not Your civilized. Are not nailed to your spines. I'm a Sumerian like you, jerk. Conan's not really nice. Where I come from, we kill our enemies in battle. We don't leave them in the desert to die like dogs. That's really nice of you. So, you live again, dead man. Oh. We're gonna ignore that. Nothing happened right there. So this drinking land water. is not love, man. You are marked. The ghost fence wearing that. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it <laughs> off and I'm gonna cross the ghost fence. That's what I'm doing it here. It might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. Live. Love. Oh, shit. Burn with life. Behind you. Slay and survive. Behind you. We will meet again, dead man. Yeah, because I know where you are. Look at me, dude. I am jacked. This is not a good start. At least I know how the game starts. I've never watched it before. I'm actually going to do I'm going to read things. I'm going to look at This is going to be great. I'm going to have so much fun. transition I want to get in here all right people we're in here so let's get started so the goal today is gonna try and get to a base location we're gonna set up a newbie base we're gonna call it my farming base and so we're gonna try and level up I'm gonna do some stuff I haven't done before I'm gonna probably use the hammer as my main weapon maybe maybe the bow and arrow uh, some daggers and whatnot I'm going to read stuff and do things I've never done in the past, so let's get started here and read this. Gather some stuff, too. Beyond the passage of our highways, by the wild places of the world, where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. Okay, so now I remember why I never listen to this, because it basically is worthless and it takes a long time. So, let's get some journey steps going here. Um, I'm probably going to build my base over near Sepamaru, somewhere over here, just because there's a lot of iron there. There's a th area to get thralls. And then eventually we're going to end up up here in the frozen north. So, a um, couple journey things. We got to climb something. We got to do some kicks, drink some water. I'm not going to read that note. I said I was going to, but I'm not here. We'll, we'll get more involved with other stuff. So, journey step, journey step, eat and drink. Uh, we're going to have to clothe ourselves here. I uh, believe we got to do some kicking. Let's do some kicks and some rolls and here climb. Wah. Okay. All right, let's do a little little karate kick here. Wah. And then a little bit of a dodge roll. Shibango. 
and then keep on chunking through here. Okay, so like I said, I want to make a hammer. I love daggers. Daggers are just OP in this game, in my opinion. I think with some of the changes, they definitely got, they definitely kind of tried to nerf the whole spear. So hammers are really fun. I've never really played with one, so I'm kind of excited to play the game and actually wield the hammer. Um, so that's what we're gonna try and get here. We're gonna probably run around with a hammer, um, some daggers, and maybe a bow. That's probably what I'm aiming for. So on my private server here, if you guys want to join it, you can just uh, shoot me an email. Uh, like I said before, or you can link it in the video that was up at the top and join. So on my private server here, I have it set to XP being three times as much for killing, but only one times for harvesting and crafting. So, you know, running around killing stuff is what the whole goal of the server is. And so that's what we're going to be doing a lot is a lot of killing. Craft a little newbie base. I want to get an animal pen set up and maybe a thrall wheel. So I can start getting some uh, high-level pets to help me out here. That might help me get through some of the content a little bit. And hopefully we'll run into some people on the server. Everyone's much higher level than I am. They all got started a little bit later. I've been having a lot of problems with uh, getting on the game and stuff. So if I do run into them, I'm probably going to be killed. But that's, that is what it is. So, all right. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Back here, his leg is all gross. And up here it's not. So, oh, yum. So here's the book. We can interact with it. I hate that you have to pick it up to interact with it. Curse this sandstorm. Because then you just drop it. To take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There. there is something in the storm. Beasts. All right. We need we more sticks. Of more of this. Outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. Thanks for the help I've telling me what to do. Get some fire, stones and rough plants and whatever. The axe. All right. So food and water is actually pretty good. Um, I don't think we're going to need to have to do anything about that. But what I am going to do is make some clothing. we got to clothe ourselves. That's a journey step. Let's get this done before we start heading further in. We gotta make some tools. We'll get both of those done. Um, we're gonna make a torch. Journey step to use a torch. Um, and then we're gonna have to make a bedroll. So while we're in here, we might as well get our stats going. So I'm gonna try and do grit and encumbrance, at least until my encumbrance gets pretty good. And then I'm gonna start putting in some strength and grit. Feet wise, we're gonna unlock some building material. We're gonna unlock our. Uh, our primitive cooking and then we're gonna kind of wait on everything else until we can get daggers bows and the two-hander so we're gonna let that cook away here um, we are kind of as far away from where I want to go as possible so I may end up building over here near the jungle there is a lot of iron in the jungle and there's also some thrall camps here so we'll see um, I prefer to be next to Sepamaru but we'll see you know what, let's let's head over to Sepamaru. Let's just head that direction. Um, I think it'll be, it won't be that bad. We'll kill some stuff on the way. Um, but yeah, we'll keep going. There we go, we got our pick. We'll put that in slot two. And then in slot three, we'll dump in our, um, our hatchet. And then we're almost ready. We're gonna be ready here. Bark, this is gonna be a journey step. Right there, boom. Okay, use our torch. Boom, journey step. Just leveling like a fiend here. All right. And then make our bed roll. Craft that. We're going to get another journey step for that. So we should be almost the right level before we even get to where we can start fighting some stuff here. Should be what we need. Um, I'm going to kill humans for their bones. I don't feel like finding feathers for my arrows. So we're going to do that as well. All right, so let's lay this. That'll give me the journey, and then we can just pick it back up. They added that in, so that's really cool. We do have to kill some stuff to get some food. All right, so we hit level six, so that's good. So grit, encumbrance, encumbrance. Okay, feet-wise, we're going to open up our uh, daggers here. And we're going to open up our bow. And that should be fine for now. So we're going to craft a pair of daggers. This should also give us another journey step. Let's make uh, 20 of those. Um, let's make our primitive cooking here. 
boom. Um, we'll get some arrows here. And we'll get our bow going. Okay, we're still doing all right. All right. So we got that cooking and we got the bow cooking. All right. And then we need our daggers, right? So what do we need? Ten more of these. We'll get our daggers. And then with our daggers, we should be set to go. Um, we'll probably clear through a lot of stuff with our daggers. So we'll put this in slot six. That way, if we have to run away from something, we can just drop it quick so we don't spawn back in the desert because that would suck. And then that hit that got us level seven. And let's wait for our daggers, and then we should be good to go kill some stuff. All right, here we go. And here, first guy, first up, you. Dead. And there we go, level eight. All right, so we can get this hammer. I've been kind of looking forward to using this hammer. And so we'll eat a filling meal here while we're getting the hammer going. So we'll cook that. Now let's see here. What does it need to make a hammer? We'll put another one in grit. Okay. So the hammer is unlocked. And then... Okay, we won't worry about any of that right now. There it is. There it is. Okay, so we need stone. So we'll go hit some stone quick. I really, really, really want to use this hammer. I mean, daggers are going to be OP, but I use daggers all the time. I'd rather use a hammer. It'd be fun. So like this guy here, watch this. Look at that. Daggers, and then he should have some glands on him. That'll be sweet. Thank you very much. Uh, there's my food that's cooking. All right, let's make this hammer. All right, so I think we're set. I think we have everything we need. We're going to need some bones. Um, so we'll kill some humans here. That'll give us another journey. Another journey update. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, we can pick this back up as well, which is really nice. Some quality of life improvements they've made to the game recently. Get some eggs for us. And then let's try this hammer out. Here we go. I'm taking your eggs, man. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, gosh. Get back. Okay. Once you go all in, man, you're pretty much committed. And it takes a ton of stamina. But, man, is it fun. Here we go. Hit him. There. Yeah. Okay. Okay, wait. Pause a second. And then keep hacking away. Okay, so we got some, we got some bone. So let's make some bone arrows. We got 20 of those bad boys. Alright, so, this is going to be painful for you. Oh my gosh. There we go. If you can even hit. Alright, so let's make our way this way. Um, we'll keep eating the bugs to heal ourselves up. And then we're going to cross right here. And then we're just going to follow this all the way uh, to where we want to go, which is over near Sepamaru. And then we'll kill some stuff on the way. We do need to fill our water skin. Take a drink, fill our water skin, drink. Fill our water skin, and then let's eat some more of this. Use, use. And that'll put us where we need to go. Eh, collect some mushrooms, why not? Puffball mushrooms, get some slugs. Alright, so here, oh, we got someone who's built over here. We got some iron over here, too. And then there's another camp up there, so... I think we might be able to get some more levels here. Uh, let's put our arrows on. Something's coming after me. Okay. Croc. Here we go. Croc style. We'll just roll right through him. He won't be able to hit us. Roll right past him. He'll be fine. Get out the big hammer. And goodbye. Just like that. So you don't want to roll back with a croc because they like lunge forward at you. So if you roll through them, then they won't hit you when they do their little lunge forward. Did I level up a couple more times? I think I did. Let's try and see if we can get... We're going to try and get uh, grit to 10, and then we'll start focusing on strength. So this will be a journey, a journey update right here, too. Get all this good iron. Boom. 
Put on some more ad. Yep, there we go. Okay. So, we're moving along pretty good here. Um, I'm probably going to lay my bedroll here in a few minutes. Just depending on what we run into. We'll grab some aloe because we're going to need this in a little bit. We got a Defari camp right there. It's right above us. Okay. Drink, drink, drink. All right. I got to be careful because some of these crocs could be the um, the blue-eyed ones, the ones that are the elites. I do want to kill them. I think I can kill an elite croc. It's the elite... Um, it's the elite Kappas, which are those turtle guys that you do not want to try and fight because you get stuck underneath them and you can't move. You're done. They just like, you get stuck under them and then you're dead. So we are not going to fight any of those. But Crocs, I think I can take on. Hyenas will probably slaughter us as well because they just do so much damage and they're so fast that you can't, you can't dodge them. Crocs are slow. They'll take a while, but I bet we could, uh, we could kill a Croc. Uh, one of the elite ones I'm talking about. Repair all of our stuff. Okay, I'm going to lay down my first bedroll. I think it's important. And now that we have some hide, I'm going to make a hide bedroll. And then attribute-wise, uh, we'll throw it in encumbrance. Feats. Let's do the iron tools. Just in case we run into somebody that has some stuff unlocked, we can actually use their benches. That'll be helpful. Um, I'm not going to make a shield. We'll do it through one lock that journey step by probably just finding a shield off of something we kill. And then that way we can unlock that. And then I don't have to, I don't have to waste, waste a point on it if I don't want to. Uh, where is it? Where's the thing I was going to click on? There it is. Uh, get some, get our light armor. Did it work or did I go too fast? Yeah, it worked, right? Yeah, okay. All right. So let's keep progressing here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is if I'm fighting animals, I'm probably going to use the daggers. But when I'm fighting uh, NPC humans and other players, I'm most likely going to use my hammer. So that's kind of what I have in mind. Uh, I might peg them a little bit with my uh, bow. Just depends. So we'll see. And then eventually, once I get my base set up, I'm going to come back and I'm going to collect these little guys. And uh, make them into a greater, greater shale back and get good old Fred on this server. I'm already missing Fred. Fred and Frank. Alright. So, looks pretty, uh, pretty uneventful here. I hate spiders. We're not going to the right. Oh boy, here we go. So like I said, against these I'm probably going to use daggers. The pushback is kind of unfair. I mean, as long as you hit every every hit in your combo, they will never get an attack on you. So that's why I think um, daggers are still probably the best weapon, at least for what I want to use. Um, spears are still good, but daggers are just so OP. Especially against M NPCs, of course. Uh, we're doing pretty good on encumbrance, so I'm going to keep hitting this iron. That way we have some on our way. But we're going to pick a nice, a nice spot full of iron, so. Ooh, we're also going to get some hyena babies eventually, too. I just don't have the weight to carry it right now. Okay, come get some. Oh, two this time. They're coming at me from different sides, too. Okay, that one's dead. This one's dead now. Okay, but they hurt me pretty good. There is a bug in the game where if you start hacking them, if you don't see anything, you're not getting anything, just stop hitting them and then hit them again, and it'll work. That's been in the game for a while. Alright, so how are we doing level-wise? Level 12 already, so I think we can open up our animal pen, can't we? Animal pen? Did I already unlock it? Okay, whatever. I thought the animal pen was open up at level 12. Maybe it's not. Maybe I just can't see it. I don't know. All right. We're going to keep on eating our handful of bugs in order to heal up. That's a good way to heal up. They're terrible for, like, getting getting your food meter to go up, but they're great for healing. And you need tons of, uh, 
You need tons of plant fiber anyway, so it's and you can eat the you can eat the bees too. So the bees knees. All right. Now I know for a fact there's a named NPC over here, and we're gonna kill him because he can drop some um, good flawless like light light and medium armor. See, as long as you don't miss, he doesn't get an attack in. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Alright. Let's keep on trucking. I have another bedroll on me just in case. Just in case. Ooh. Well, I... Can I shoot them from here? Let's find out. Is he sleeping or is he dead? Okay. I don't want to waste my time. It's all the way on the other side. I'm not going over there. I know that there is a tier 4... Not tier 4, but a named NPC right over here. It's a fighter usually. And I don't think I need to put a bedroll down. I think I can take him. Regardless. I think I can take him. If he's not already dead. He usually is right here. Where is he? Alright. Well. Oh, you're dead. Come on. Just come get hit in the face. Oh, you didn't even need to. You stopped short. Alright. I know he's here somewhere kind of upset. Am I not far enough on the beach? I wonder if someone killed him. Alright, let's repair our daggers. They're looking a little, they're looking a little worn. Looking a little worn. Yeah, he's usually right here. Sugar sticks. Alright, that's alright. Pay no mind. So I'm gonna take the, um, the shortcut. And the shortcut is dangerous. I'm taking the shortcut. Like, I'm going to go maybe up through here. I don't I don't know. I think this is probably not the best thing to do. I changed my mind. I'm not taking the shortcut. We're going this way. Ooh, there's a guy. Oh, you move right when I fire. Oh, they're going after some crocs. Let's get in on this. Oh, shit. Why is there a croc? Oh, shit! Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay. We got this. We just won't get hit. That's all we gotta do. Is that, is that like... Oh, oh my god. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's too slow. We're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do daggers on him. Do you, there's like literally nine crocs on me. Okay, get out of here. Oh my oh my goodness. That's alright. I can do this. It's just it's just all about it's all about skills. We just gotta oh god. You're dead. Okay, you're gonna die. There we go. Alright, now you're next. Okay. You're next. Come get some. There we go. Okay. All right. We're get we got this. Okay. One of them hit me. I'm bleeding. Yes, sir. Oh, baby. I don't know how that guy's still alive. Okay. Don't worry, I took care of these for you. You're fine. Don't mind me. Well, at least there's a chest. Maybe I can be hopeful that there's something in here. A black candle. Oh, you didn't even kill yours! Okay.
He didn't even kill his. I got it. Don't worry. Good gracious. 